Hello, Shedies, and you join me again in my shed. I've just put this quick video together, me making a frame for my TV to make it look like a, a picture frame. Now, I made it out of softwood. I'll show you in the video anyway. And the reason for that is that I didn't want it to bow. I'll explain more, but I didn't want to use MDF. Um, MDF, when it's made into a frame, I would think it might sag slightly. I didn't mention it when I did the narration on the video, so I just wanted to say that first of all. Also, uh, I'm not an expert on this sort of thing, so do your own research first. I don't want you to do something I've done and then damage your own TV. So, look, I'll take no responsibility. This is what I've done. It's worked well for me. You do it how you like. But anyway, here's the video. I'll see you at the end. Cheers. So here's the living room midway through renovations and there's a TV already mounted on the wall. And I use Taurus, uh, Taurus, I think it's called, skirting board and it's in um, soft wood rather than MDF, which I normally use on skirting boards. It's about two and a half inches wide. And here I'm measuring up the TV. And to get the measurements right, it was the most TV has got a little board around it. So I wanted to measure the inside of that border. So the uh, frame went straight to the outside of the actual screen itself, the QLED in my case so i cut four lengths to 45 degree cuts and there they are all cut up ready then i use these l brackets to fix them together test fitted it first and got me a set square on the side to make sure it was in alignment and then I used wood glue to glue it in place. And then I used those L brackets. Now I used two screws in each hole. The reason for that, it sort of clamps it more together, if that makes sense. It brings the two pieces of wood together. It worked well for me anyway. You do however you want to do it, but it worked good for me. There it is, already made up. And then that's where it's going to go. And give it a coat of paint or a few coats of paint. Come out really well, actually. It looked quite neat. So next, um, how I fitted the frame onto the TV. So that's the wall, that's the TV mounted to the wall or the chimney breast. There's the side end of the frame, the TV frame. And then I used L brackets the other direction. And then I bent part of the L bracket at the top there. You can see around, that's the bend line uh, to make like a hook. And I mounted that to the top of the frame and then hooked it over the TV. You can see what I'm, I've got no footage of this. So that's why I'm drawing it. Um, so I put the hook, two hooks now on top, and then the bottom ones, I didn't make them into a hook straight away, I bent them when they're in place, so it sort of clamped it onto the TV, it's like a top lip, and I wrapped it into insulation tape, just to give it some padding so it protects the TV, and then yeah, hooked it over, clamped it in, and there it is in place, so really pleased with it, um, yeah, very cheap, what more can I say, it worked well for me. So that's it, what do you think? I think it looks good. Uh, it didn't cost me much. I mean, what's some uh, architrave? Yeah, I mentioned, uh, I said skirting board, it's actually architrave. Um, I've got I've got skirting board on my mind at the moment. <laughs> I've got to do the skirting board. I'm going to finish that off in the house. But uh, the renovation video is to come, but I thought I'd show you this uh, part of the renovation and uh, I thought you might have got something out of it. But like I do, do say, if you're messing around with TVs and you're hanging things on walls, do your own research first. This is what I've done. It's been up there now for two months, just over two months. So anyway, that's about it, I think. Uh, what I was going to say, that's about it. Yeah, all right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers. See you next time on Weekend Shedhead.